going to tell you about five human impacts on the environment. The ecosystem of the world are working very hard for us every day. Filtering water, sucking carbon dioxide out of the air, reducing all the food we eat. All very important ecosystem services benefits that the natural world provide us for free. So having ecosystems and keeping them intact is important not only for the organisms who live in them, but also for us. The animals who rely on them for thousands and thousands of things that we could never do for ourselves. But to make it easy on ourselves, let's start with the top 5. We often hear about all the different ways that our behavior is affecting the biosphere. Extinction, climate change, deforestation, acid rain, desertification, pollution, and more. So first, healthy ecosystem provides support services that create and replenish the foundation of the Earth's biological systems. These services include the recycling all of the compounds that are necessary for life through the carbon, water, nitrogen, and phosphorus cycles. They also include other processes like forming new soils and producing atmospheric oxygen. Some ecosystems contribute more to these services than others, but none of them can get these basic jobs done unless they are intact. Now second, ecosystem also perform provisioning services, giving us the raw materials we need to live. And rivers and aquifers and other freshwater resources give us water. Plants and animals also yield all kinds of fiber that we use for clothing and shelter. And all around us we find sources of fuel, whether it's biomass in the form of grasses or wood, hydropower in the form of flowing water or the carbon lock in millions of years old, trees that we're now releasing into the atmosphere. Ecosystem also performs super important regulating services, moderating many of the earth systems that can get dangerous if they get out of work. Like as we learn in biology, fungi and other organisms take on the task of decomposing dead things and poop. Meanwhile, plants help filter the water you drink and the air you breathe and provide flood control. And they also absorb all that carbon you exhale and that your carb belches out, which in turn helps regulate the climate. And finally, number four, ecosystem are just kind of awesome. It's nice to be surrounded by happy plants and creatures doing their business. Nice robust ecosystems give us places to play, since to inspire us, and things to just discover and learn about. These are less tangible but still important cultural services. An interesting thing about ecosystem services is that economies actually can and do calculate the monetary value they provide for humanity. If, for example, we had to do all of the things that ecosystems do for us, it would cost us $46 trillion per year, which is a lot considering that the output of the global economy is $66 per year. So we should be happy that we don't have to pay for all that. But you'll notice that I keep saying that ecosystems can only serve up all these awesome sauce if they are intact. By that I mean they specifically have to have their biodiversity intact because ecosystems are just a bunch of living and non-living things working together so unless their living parts are healthy, they're basically just rocks and weather. So the best way to understand our impact on the environment is through how we affect biodiversity. Unfortunately, it turns out that we been doing a really bang up job of endangering some of the highest biodiversity ecosystems on the planet. In some cases, we're having impacts on the organism themselves directly. In other cases, we're affecting biodiversity indirectly by creating one or two changes in that ecosystem that cascade into all kinds of problems for living things. And that's it. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share this video. Thank you!